DirectFix.com presents the iPod Touch 5th Generation Take Apart Directions. Fix your broken iPhone 4 or 4S for under $100 with parts from DirectFix.com. Use coupon code YT7 and save 7% off your next order at DirectFix.com. Warning, this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You are using this video directions and its content at your own risk. X Micro Solution Inc. makes no representation, warranties, or conditions of any kind expressed or implied. Following these directions on the video will void your warranty you are performing this repair at your own risk. After completely powering off your iPod, begin to loosen the adhesive holding the screen down by using a heat gun or blow dryer. Use a case opener tool to carefully pry the screen from the frame of the iPod. There is a plastic edging that sits between the screen and the case of the iPod. Carefully use your case opener tool and separate it from the case. There are 12 Phillips screws holding the metal shield covering the motherboard and the battery. Use your Phillips screwdriver and remove the screws shown in the red circles. Carefully pull up the home button circuit from its place on the metal shield. You can now remove the metal shield. The battery is soldered to the motherboard. Remove with a soldering iron. Remove three very small Phillips screws securing the Wi-Fi antenna. Then remove three more Phillips screws holding down the motherboard. On the underside of the motherboard, disconnect connectors for the LCD touch panel, rear-facing camera, and volume control and power buttons.
you can now fully remove the screen assembly. The plastic frame around the screen assembly is easily separated from the screen. Carefully peel away the home button. The LCD and touch panel are fused together into one part. You can now remove the battery. Remove five Phillips screws securing the headphone jack, sync and charge port, and speaker. You can now remove the motherboard with attached headphone jack, sync charge port, and speaker assembly. Remove two small Phillips screws securing the volume control buttons. Remove two more screws and a small tightening plate up near the power button and one more screw on the side of the rear facing camera. Peel off the small strip covering the ribbon cable for the volume control and power buttons. Pull out the rear facing camera and remove the entire ribbon cable assembly. The fully disassembled 5th generation iPod Touch. For all your cell phone parts, accessories, and service needs, go to directfix.com now.